Uh, ZL2 Oscar Zulu, ZL2 Charlie Tanger Mike. Yeah, g'day, g'day. Um, just want to do a quick radio check on a um, homebrew QRP rig there, over. Ah, oh, Roger, Roger, 5 and 9 in Denevik, that's great, thanks very much. Um, how does it sound? It's, it's just a homebrew, so it's not going to be a competition rig, but uh, does it sound okay at your end, over? Yeah, Roger, yeah. Um, the audio is uh, reasonably deep, but it's good coffee, it's good... Uh, ah, uh, Roger, Roger, yeah, well, not too... Uh, yeah, like I say, it's a homebrew rig, so it doesn't surprise me that the audio might not be perfect. Um, but that's great that's getting out. Um, this particular rig here I've designed purely for 369 or 0, so I've got the ability to tune up and down by sort of 10 hertz at a time, but uh, it really is just a, a radio designed for 369 or 0, but also with a couple of emergency modes where I can actually tune to uh, both the uh, northern and the southern uh, mountain radio service, just in case I... Um, I get into strife, but uh, that's great, thanks, I'm really pleased it's coming through, uh, up into Danny Virk, um, only transmitting uh, just over 5 watts, so uh, on a dummy load it was about 5.8 watts, um, so uh, that's all I wanted for this little rig, uh, I'll pass back to you, ZL2 Oscar Zulu, ZL2 Charlie Tanger Mike. Ah, uh, Roger, Roger. No, that's absolutely perfect. I'm no, really happy with that. Um, no, um, I've just been dividing the, this build up into a series of videos just to put up online. So hopefully uh, the whole idea of putting the videos up onto to YouTube is to help encourage others to give Homebrew a go. So uh, I'm really pleased this is working well. Uh, just made up the power amplifier today. Um, it was sort of uh, dead bug styled over the last couple of days. So... Uh, just put that basically onto a little bit of a circuit board. Had a few initial problems with oscillations because I didn't quite have a, a low enough impedance earth on the uh, on the earth um, part of the circuit, but that's uh, been rectified by a couple of extra um, tags there. So it seems to be quite rock solid, so I'm really pleased with that. So I think my focus now will shift to a, uh, a nice small portable uh, in-fed half wave, which will be the next mission. Um, I've got one which works reasonably well, but uh, I might have a bit of a play around with that one. Back to you, ZL2 Oscar Zulu, ZL2 Charlie Tanger Mike. Yeah, Roger. No, going really well. In fact, a uh, couple of times there, you just, uh, just brought up the plus sign. Yeah, oh, the plus sign. Yeah. So, uh, 59 plus. So, yeah, no, great signal, and I would imagine it would probably improve in the next half hour or so with, uh, as uh, conditions. Uh, improve better for 80. Okay, 7 3, enjoy, and uh, yeah, well done. Uh, it's going really well. Quite impressed. Sit all 2 Charlie Tango Mike, sit all 2 Oscar Zulu. Roger, Roger. ZL2 Oscar Zulu, ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. Hey, thank you very much for coming back and confirming that. That's fantastic. So uh, what I might do, in fact, I might even use, use this one tonight and do a couple of uh, calls on the, uh, the GoQRP net. Uh, if I can, but um, I'll let you go and we'll catch up in about half an hour's time. ZL2 Oscar Zulu, ZL2 Charlie took a mic, clear. Yeah, cheers. Oh, well, there you go, excellent, that's really, really good. Um, so I'm not quite sure where I got to in terms of explaining what I got up to. Um, so from the last video, we uh, we had the, 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 the amplifier here split out onto that second board with the jumper cables going from the, uh, the final uh, carrier uh, mixer into it and then the output going through to the low pass filter here um, so that's all been uh, fixed up um, what I will do while I'm sitting here quickly talking is I will just go through my notes and pull out the half wave um, how does that look in the um, in the picture there let me just go back a little bit um, sorry for the um, the lighting so um, I said I was going to go through in that last video and have a quick look at the low pass filter so it's a half wave low pass filter. Um, because this is only 369 and 0 and then down to 3.2 megs or 3200 oh, kilohertz for the, the mountain radio service, um, I elected to have the 3 dB point for this half wave 
filter after the amplifier to be 4 megahertz. Um, I'm using FT50-2s, um, could have got away with smaller ones but you know, it, it's small enough and as you can see there it's not taking up a huge amount of real estate. So uh, that's what I elected to use. This is the configuration here, so um, two series inductors with the parallel capacitors. Um, Z in 50 ohms and a Z out is also 50 ohms looking in and out. Um, and, and the way this is built is the, uh, the capacitive reactants uh, or XC for C1 and C3 um, is 50 ohms and C2 it's worked out to be 25 ohms and the, the inductive reactants or XL for L1 and L2 uh, are both set to be 50 ohms. So if we just start doing the inductance we know that XL equals, let me just move that up a little bit there, uh, apologies, XL equals 2 pi FL, so we can rearrange that formula to make um, inductance the subject, uh, and we can solve for 50 ohms, which I'll just set over here. So uh, by plugging in the numbers, so we know 50 ohms uh, is here, uh, we know that frequency of operation, uh, well more the point, our 3 dB point is going to be um, at 4 megahertz, uh, and we can solve for inductance, which is 1.989 microhenries, uh, which is approximately 20 turns is close enough. Uh, that will come out to be actually 1.96 microhenries, so close enough as they say. Um, for C1 and C3, just make sure you can still see there, C1 and C3, um, I said before that those are going to be sold for 50 ohms. Um, we know that XC equals 1 over 2 pi FC, so just rearranging that formula to make our capacitance the subject and then plugging in our known values uh, 50 ohms for XC and 4 megahertz for frequency we can solve for 7.96 so the nearest standard value I'll use um, for this uh, will be uh, 820 where are we so my apologies oh gosh um, so just, like I just said there and I'm, I apologize for this um, XC is one of the 2 pi FC I've just sold for capacitance by plugging in our known values and came out at 796 picofarads uh, and the standard value I'm going to use is 820 picofarads. So the last um, capacitor we need to find is C2 uh, and that one there we're going to have its capacitive reactance is 25 ohms or half the others um, and exactly the same approach make our capacitor the subject plug in our known values 4 megs and 25 ohms comes out at 1591 which is close enough to 1500 picofarads. So those are the values here. So 1500 picofarads, a couple of 820 picofarads, and then a couple of 20 turn um, inductors sitting on an FT20-2, um, wired up in that configuration there, and it looks just like that. So that's the uh, the low pass filter that's sitting um, after the, the power amplifier here. Um, uh, Apologies if I'm repeating myself, but um, when I first built up this amplifier, um, it was amplifying perfectly fine, so the configuration was good. But when I put it actually into the radio itself, um, I only had that tag there on the earth line, and then this tag down here on this bottom earth line. And I, f I found in a couple of configurations with the antenna, um, I was getting a bit of oscillations coming through, just a bit of self um, oscillations. So... Um, that totally disappeared by adding in another uh, earth tag at this end of the earth and another one at this end, so now there's one at each end and that problem's just totally gone away, which is good. I've got a tiny little heat sink here just for that uh, 2219A, um, you know, that stone cold, well, it's, it's you know, barely warm, but it's, um, it's just fine. And the, um, the, uh, the power amplifier transits down here um, it's rated at 30 watts. As you, as you know, I'm only putting out um, 5. Point, um, uh, 5.8. Um, this is a class AB, so um, its dissipation there is, is well within um, the ratings of that particular device. So, I think that's all I wanted to cover off. So, um, two contacts just then, ZL3 TK Stan and um, ZL2 Oscar Zulu, uh, which I think, I, if I recall, is Wayne. I'll to double check on that one. Um... So that's good. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. So uh, like, you, like you heard in the uh, in that um, that contact there, I, I might start sort of looking at some antennas now. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to do on this radio. Um, it's pretty well. 
you know, there's nothing else on the to-do list. So I think the best I can do now is basically put it into its container um, and then get that into the field and start using it for real and um, having some fun with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that um, series. Just no, no one's there yet. Uh, in a quarter of an hour's time, we'll be starting up the, uh, the GoQRP uh, net, so I might actually um, jump in on that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the series. Like I say, the, none of this is this is a tutorial. This is just all about me experimenting, and and um, hopefully uh, people get a few ideas to basically give homebrew a go themselves. So um, any questions, please sing out. I'll try and answer them. Um, otherwise, I'll put up. Um, I think all the schematics now are up on the blog as well as the software load um, for the uh, the Arduino. Um, the only thing which I might have to just uh, re-upload the software in this one because I think I've got for test purposes one kilohertz um, steps on the up and down um, switches and I need to revert that back to 10 hertz uh, just to um, to keep it for that. Um, I'm not going to transmit on the, uh, the MRS frequencies because um, that would only be for in emergencies, um, but it works perfectly fine in the um, on the dummy load, so I'm confident that that'll work for real uh, when I need to. Um, so uh, that's all I need to do there. The other day I was listening quite happily, uh, receiving the um, the weather forecast. It was it was booming through, so um, um, and yeah, absolutely no problems with those two uh, mountain radio service frequencies. Okay, I can I can hear myself and feel myself starting to uh, repeat myself and to ramble. So I'll say 73s here, uh, and hopefully um, that made some sense and um, wasn't too confusing. Anyway, 73s all, and uh, I will catch you next time. Cheers all.